I greet you all in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My name is Mbongeni Mzuli from Pretoria, Soshanguve. I'm a child of God, saved and sanctified by the work of the blood. Um, we are going to get our scripture reading from Nehemiah chapter number 6. We are going to read verse number 9. And it reads as follows. They were all trying to frighten us, thinking... Their hands will get too weak for the work, and it will not be completed. But I prayed, now strengthen my hands. Uh, may the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Um, this is a book where we read, the book of Nehemiah, where the Bible tells us about the rebuilding of the walls of Jerusalem. Now, the Bible tells us that there was a time where um, the Israelites who were in Jerusalem were attacked by the Babylonians and they took some people into exiles. After doing that, uh, they didn't even only do that only, but they also bent their gates and their walls. They damaged their walls and bent their gates with fire. And the Bible tells us that some people came back from exile and they reported to Nehemiah what had happened. Now the Bible tells us that Nehemiah, when he heard this, he was heartbroken and he started a fast. He fasted and he prayed, confessing sins and asking uh, strength from the Lord. Now the Bible tells us, Uti, after the king has granted him to go and do whatever that he was he wanted to do now the bible tells us that as he, he came into jerusalem he went and checked everything at night and checked each and everything that was happening now the bible tells us that as they started their assignment to 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 rebuild the walls, to, to rebuild the protection that they had, to rebuild and to put on the gates that were there again, to, to, to stop the access that the enemy might have had. Now the Bible tells us that came people, San Palach and Tobia, who started to... to to be against the rebuilding of the wall. Little Pipe, Malishela, little those people, they only had one mentality, which was to distract Nehemiah in the rebuilding of the wall. Little Pipe, as Nehemiah was rebuilding, they started plotting lies about Nehemiah, saying Nehemiah wants to be a king. They started plotting lies that Nehemiah wants to rule over Jerusalem. Now, the Bible tells us that Nehemiah did not even once give them attention. Little Bible, they even called Nehemiah to come and have a meeting with them. But Nehemiah didn't accept the invitation because he knew that the only thing that they want to do it is for them to distract the rebuilding and the assignment. Now, when we read Little Bible, they called Nehemiah to come down and to speak with them. Now, Nehemiah, because of his focus, because of uh, uh, focus, Little Bible, he said unto them, I carry a huge assignment and I shall not come down. As they continue to plot lies, the Bible tells us that Nehemiah started a prayer, but before that, it says they frightened them because the enemy knows that even if he cannot reach you in everything, but he will tell you something that will distract your mind. And he knows that after your mind is distracted, then you, you, st you start to become wary. Little by pale, as they were building, they threatened them that their hands will get too weak and they will not complete their work on that they are doing. Now the Bible tells us that Nehemiah chose not to, to, to listen to them. Nehemiah chose to ignore them, but in his ignorance he did not only ignore them, but he went back to prayer. In prayer he did not pray against them, but he prayed for himself. If it was us, we were going to pray against them, that may God ban them, but Nehemiah did not even do that. Nehemiah focused on, on himself and said may God strengthen his hands. 
hand because he understands that his focus is more important than fighting people. Sometimes we fight people and lose focus in what we do. But I pray that tonight may people regain their focus in their assignment that the Lord has given them, in everything that the Lord has planted in their hearts to do. May the Lord strengthen their hands. 